hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mundur Frida the African girl um so it's been really really long uh, it's been really really long I know um this is quite different from the vlogs that I've been doing recently I've been doing more of vlogs uh, village vlogs and all of that because um uh, Lately, I have been a lot in the village or in the rural parts um, of Uganda. So I have been a lot uh, in those parts uh, doing different things. I'm very thank God um, that we are here today. And I thank you guys so, so much for the support that you've given me throughout my YouTube journey. I am so, so grateful to God that... Uh, we were able to achieve a milestone this year yes thanks to you my supporters my viewers okay thank you so much for uh, the support thanks to everyone who shared my videos thanks to everyone who watched thanks to everyone who liked thanks to everyone who at least dropped a comment um uh, on my videos i appreciate i'm very very grateful and um, I do not take it for granted. So we were able to hit 500 uh, subscribers this year. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, I know um, my goal and my plan this year was to hit 1,000 subscribers. But 500 is not bad. I'm still so thankful to God and thankful to all of you for the support that uh, you have given me. So uh, why I'm doing this video today, number one, is that I have missed you guys. I haven't been posting for some time because the last three months have been so hectic for me. Uh, number one, with work. Number two, with other things. So, you know, in life, there are so many things that go on. Um, though we don't come online to share everything, but so much goes on. Uh, in the background, uh, I needed time to also separate myself um, for some other reasons, which is very, very important. So, so um, this year started um, for us, for everyone on different notes, right? For some people, it started on a good note. For some people, they were not sure about the year. For some people, it started on a really, really bad note. But uh, we thank God that we are still here, that we are alive for our, some of us who lost our loved ones, who lost um, our relatives, who lost property, who lost something, right? Um, we are still grateful to God because one, um, he, we received strength through that, though at some point we were broken, but we received strength and um, we saw the hand of God, you know, this year through the trying moments, through the tough times that uh, we all went through. And um, yeah, so like for me this year, really, really didn't start on a good note, especially January. I was excited about 2023. That's the truth. Um, though I was quite unsure of very many things um, that were to happen in 2023, I didn't really know what 2023 had, especially for me. But one thing I always do is I put my trust in God. I tell God, now we are here. Father, I leave it all into your hands. Lead me. Whatever you decide, I know you will lead me through it. So that's what I do throughout the year so the year really really didn't start on a good note for me my dad had a terrible accident and uh, that happened and then um so many other things at some point i lost my grandma right but uh, we are so grateful to god i'm so grateful to god that i'm still here i'm alive i'm breathing through all the tough times um he has strengthened me and he has taught me very many new things okay so um, another thing I have learned this year, okay, the very important lessons I've learned this year, number one is to completely trust in God, okay, and his leading. I know this can be really, really tough. Sometimes it can be so tough to trust in God, especially when you're believing in for something and it's not happening and it's happening for your neighbors and it's happening for every other person. But for you, it is not happening. Trusting becomes so hard. But I want to tell you that it is very, very, very important um, to put your trust in God. You might not know um, 
how he's going to take you out of it. But one thing you should always be sure of is that he will surely take you out. Maybe you might have had issues with your friends this year. I know for some people it's very hard to forgive. But like I would always say, try to always forgive first for you. Yes, because carrying the weight of somebody in your heart is, is not an easy thing. It can be a hindrance to very many things in your life. So try as much as possible to forgive people. I know it can be tough, but with the help of God, you can. So forgiving doesn't always mean that you should go back to normal. One important thing I've learned this year is to forgive and to trust in God. And to know the point when you just surrender to God, okay? There are moments when I almost gave up. <laughs> Things were so overwhelming for me. Like, you try to think and you just reach a point where, <laughs> oh, you know that you alone cannot manage if you don't call for the help of God. The truth is God is always there to help us. But sometimes he needs you to show him that you need him. Until you do that, sometimes he will be silent. So learned, I've learned to always call on God. When, even when I'm sure or when I'm unsure. So that's one very important lesson I've learned this year too. I don't know how many one important lessons I've said in this video, but <laughs> take it as it is. And um, another important lesson is that um, sometimes we plan. And uh, in our minds, we expect things to work out the way we have planned them. But the truth is, things don't always turn out the way we have planned them. There will always be a twist of something. There will always be a switch. There will always be a change at one point. And be always ready to embrace change. If you don't want change, change will change you. <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah, embrace change. Um, also understand that things. So at this point, I don't know why I stopped, but my phone went off at some point, but... Okay, so Genesis 3, to me, I saw it in a different light this year. Um, Genesis 3, uh, where... Um, okay, it's generally about the fall of man, the story of the serpent, Adam and Eve. And then when they ate the forbidden fruit and realized that they were naked, and then they hid. All right, they hid from... Um, God and all of that. So uh, what really came in a different light for me was that, you know, when God was calling, Adam, Adam, where are you? <laughs> and Adam said, um, I heard your footsteps. Let me paraphrase, right? Um, just to the point where Adam said, um, I am naked. And then God asked, who told you that you are naked? Did you eat of the forbidden fruit? So um, when I read that part of the scripture, it, it came in a different light for me. Um, uh, this is the understanding that came to me. That, you know, sometimes um, we think God really doesn't know, but God knows. But uh, what he really needs us to do is to speak and speak the truth. You know, we still continue to see that they got the punishments and all of that. But um, for me, what came to me in a different light is even if you might uh, receive the punishments or you might pay for the consequences of what uh, you have done, it's important to be truthful, speak the truth and speak. So sometimes God just requires us to speak. He already knows. He's an all-knowing God. But he needs you to open your mouth and speak to him. You need to speak to him, okay? Um, so that's one thing that came really alive to me this year. I speak a lot to God <laughs> over the things that people think are so, so petty. I do. I sit down, I tell God, God, I'm having a bad day. I'm not in the right frame of mind. I need help. And immediately he does something about it. All right, so... Yeah, I've just learned um, to sit in the presence of God, to enjoy the presence of God. You know, the separation for me. 
are that time with God, the quiet times I have with God. I've learned to have quiet times with me, with myself, you know, to reevaluate my life, the things that have happened to me. That has been 2023 for me. And I can say it has been a very, very good year for me. And another thing is that um, I have learned, you know, the power of speaking life into things, of speaking into your life. Uh, like other people would say manifesting things in your life, right? Um, if I'm to say it, most of the things that I spoke into my life this year, I prayed about this year. God has given them. God has answered them. They might not have come the exact way that I wanted them to come, but I can surely tell you that God has answered them. Sometimes the answers to our prayers don't come um, the way that we want them to come. They don't come in the way we expect them to be packaged. You might ask for strength, but God will give you a challenge through which that strength in you will come out, you know. So the answers are not always the way we want them, but they're always answers. That's the bottom line of it. So, so many things happened this year. I can't exhaust them in this video. But, uh, as we're closing 2023, I know there are very many things that you didn't achieve or things that you thought would work out for you didn't work out. There are very many things that worked out for you. There are very many things you never thought about, but God made them possible to you. I just want you to be grateful. Try to be grateful. And one important thing I do every day is to say God thank you for the smallest things. God thank you, God thank you. That's one very important prayer that I make every day. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It might just be like three words, but it's very, very important. And um, yeah, just I've learned to be more grateful to God. If any bad thing happens, I say thank you, God. If any good thing happens, I say thank you, God, because I know there's always something he wants to teach me through every good and bad. There's always something he wants me to see through every good and bad. You know, sometimes we need to not have a rigid mind about things. Be open. If God takes you through a bad time, you might not like the situation, but tell him, God, here I am. Teach me what you want me to learn. Let me see what you want me to see through this situation. That is it. And you will see things that you never thought you, you would see. And you, the eyes of your understanding will be opened. Okay? So trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge God. And he will direct your path. Okay? And... um. It is very important to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. If you want to renew your mind as a Christian, you need to study the word of God. Your mind can be renewed by the word of God. And the spirit of God will help you. You know, there are very many things. Some people say, I can't handle this. But um, the Holy Spirit is our help. Is our comfort. He is there for us. So even in the tough times, ask for help. He is there. He will help you through it all. And uh, God has never left us. Sometimes we feel like he is away from us, but he is our present help in times of need. He is always with us. Everywhere you go, anywhere you are, is the presence of God. Seek him. Ask him. Consult with him. Each and everything. Ask for directions. He is the all-knowing God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He knows everything. He knows you in and out more than you can do. But you just need to be in one accord with him. Um, just trust him and ask that you walk uh, in his perfect will. And you will see how things are going to work out for you. Um, I know I have been all over in this video, but I am grateful uh, for this year. I'm grateful for the blessings, for the failures, for the successes, uh, for the knowledge, for the understanding of new things. So many things that happened this year. I can't exhaust them. And I'm thankful for all of you. Um, so I just want to say a Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas. And I really do hope that we know why we are celebrating Christmas. We do know. I hope we do know the reason for the celebration of this season. It is beyond food. It's beyond drinks. It's beyond Christmas trees. It's beyond singing the carol songs. 
the reason is Jesus who is our savior and our lord so that's very very important for all of us to know that's the reason for celebration of christmas otherwise without jesus christmas will not make sense and um a very happy new year 2024 to all of us i really do pray to god that it's going to be a year um of knowing him more a year of growing in the knowledge and understanding of who god truly is not from the knowledge of uh, what other people say but we're really going to experience him personally for ourselves um that we will encounter him more and uh, we'll have a stronger relationship with him and understanding of his word that we will um know him completely and we we'll work um, holistically in the perfect will of God for us. Of course, you can't do it on your own. You have to do it with him. Okay, so that is it. That's uh, my wish for all of us this year, that good things will happen to us, that even if bad things happen, God will give us the strength and he will give us an understanding for us to know why this is happening to us. Even if we do not get the understanding, that God will help us through the good and the bad seasons. And do not forget to speak into your life. Do not forget to trust in God in the new year. Remember, God is good all the time. And he is faithful. He is good. He has always been good. And he will forever be good. He listens to you. He loves you. Okay, so he is there for you. Reach out to God and he will be there for you. Okay, I love you all and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.